What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video and I'm on a kind of a time crunch right now because it's like 3 o'clock and I need to make it to the DMV before, well not DMV but the inspection place before 4 o'clock and I'm just now leaving my house, the inspection place is about 20 minutes away I'd say and uh, hopefully they're not shutting down early like sometimes you know places like to do. But uh, I'm headed there and what you just saw me do, I just changed out my license plate lights to LEDs and they actually look kind of nice. And one thing I didn't show you guys because I did yesterday while I was on the clock at work, but don't tell my boss that. I changed out these lights, my dome lights, as you can see, you probably can't tell from right here, but they're white now, they're LEDs. And I also changed out these lights the vanity lights as well i believe that's what those are called behind the visor and they look kind of nice if i remember tonight i'll record um what they actually look like in the nighttime because they are pretty decent even though i bought them off ebay the ebay special uh a lot of you probably go with diode dynamics i didn't just because i've always used ebay bulbs for all the rest of my cars and they work pretty nice. I'm pretty sure that the Dial Dynamics ones do output a little bit more light. And if you wanted a little bit more light, then you could always do that. But me, uh, I was just trying to save a little money because I can always change it out if I feel the need to change it out. I'm liking this exhaust that I just installed on my car. It does sound fairly aggressive. Even though it's just a cat back, like I said in my last video, I will be going with headers, down pipes, and test pipes just to make it, you know, sound even more aggressive and more race ready, if you know what I mean. I plan on going balls to the walls with this build, and I'm sure y'all know that. That's why I have been dumping a lot of money at it lately. Um, I've ordered, I have like two or three things on the way that have to be shipped from various places and i spent quite a lot of money on those so y'all will be pretty stoked to see what that is but i'm gonna go ahead and say i did order my wheels already i can't wait for those to get in for sure so i can go ahead and test fit them and if i'm gonna need spaces or not even though i use the chart that they have floating around the internet on what wheels fit the genesis coupe uh, i believe it's from 18 to 20s and y'all probably know the chart that i'm talking about but if not then it'll be on the screen right now you can pause it and look at it if you want to but i'm not gonna you know just explain that to you i made sure that i got more positive offset than specs that they sold the wheels in and i could always add spacers to you know lower the offset because spacers add negative offset if you didn't know but yeah i'm headed to the inspection place now i'm just rambling on and on i know but it seems like a while since I've actually talked to you guys. I just feel like I've been making videos and not really talking to y'all. So let me know in the comment section below what wheels you think I got. If you think I cheaped out on wheels or if you think I actually spent thousands of dollars on wheels. Just remember I do have to get tires also which I need to place an order for. And also let me know what tires you think I should go with. Of course the rear tires are going to be wider than the front ones. And I'm thinking about going with a 285, maybe a 295. That's what I had on my previous Genesis, but I don't know yet. I'm just going to see what happens whenever I test fit the wheels. Still rocking the monthly auto sense, hanging in the rear view mirror. Y'all probably can't see because of the lighting, but go ahead and check them out use code TMP10 for 10% off your lovely auto sense they smell real nice and as you can see I'm still using them so go ahead and check them out for me so unfortunately I could not get an inspection sticker because I'm not a resident of the West Feliciana Parish anymore so I just came out here to admire the area where I used to come hang out all the time and I would take like a bunch of photos of my car, which I think I still made, but my car is like so dirty right now that it makes me not even want to take pictures of it. But 
Yeah, I'm riding around dirty. I just put my license plate on. Still don't have an inspection sticker, but I, I'll go get that tomorrow in my parish that I live in now. Unfortunately, like I said, but uh, yeah, I'm looking at these wheels and uh, I think it's about time for me to change these. And the wheel gap needs to go sooner or later. Ooh, I like this angle. Look at this. Look at this. Curb rash, that's a bad thing, but this angle. Good thing. The exhaust on the other hand, I got it to hang about like how I would like it to. It still could be fixed a little bit, but as of now, it looks great. Don't look at my license plate though. Stop peeking. I think I'm gonna go home today and actually change these emblems out. And what I've been wanting to do is add some spacers on my wheels, just because, look at this. I want it to poke out a little bit more, but all in all, let me just chill out here and get some B-roll for y'all of the car. Alright, so I got my first full actual food vlog or mukbang or whatever kind of thing y'all want to call it. And I went to McDonald's, as you can see. Because lately, I've been on the topic of eating more food with my homeboys and stuff. Because I've been going to the gym, but I haven't really been eating more. So I haven't been getting any gains, as you can tell by the physique of my body. But, uh, yeah, they were telling me about something that I've never experienced. Which just so happened to be something that probably all of y'all have experienced. And that's the Big Mac. I have never personally eaten a Big Mac before. I only get probably about four or five things off the McDonald's menu every time I go to McDonald's, whenever I do go to McDonald's, but I've never tried a Big Mac. I wanted to share this experience with y'all, and I'm sorry about all the smacking and stuff already. I've been eating a few fries or whatever because I got the meal. It was it just so happened to be the meal of the day on Monday, and I don't know. I want to see what's all the hype about it. They told me it was like one of the better things on McDonald's menu, so let me go ahead and eat this. Big Mac. Oh, and I don't have onions on it because I'm not a huge fan of onions. I wish they could have stacked this a little bit better. Let me go and fix this up a little bit. And y'all probably would notice that I do not have my auto sense dangling in front of the camera, which uh, if you haven't checked them out, go ahead and check out monthly auto sense. Use code TMP10 to get 10% off your subscription. And yeah, let me go ahead and see what this Big Mac is hitting on. Christian was telling me about how he thought it was going to be a little dry just because there are three breads. I can see why he would have thought that. But it's not. It's like, it's good actually. I think y'all might have put me on something. Thank y'all. I'm about to go ahead and finish up eating and I'll see y'all whenever I get home. Thanks for the Big Mac. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, y'all let me know in the comment section below some of the things y'all would like me to try out. But well, it's gonna have to be in the Louisiana area, of course. Because we don't have like an in and out. I've never ate that. We don't have different varieties of food. We only have like the basics, if you ask me. And mostly southern style stuff, like Cajun stuff. And you know, different types of southern foods like that. But uh yeah, I'm about to go ahead and finish eating this because I'm hungry and I'm thinking it's going to be a short amount of time before this is all gone because this is actually quite good. And I'll see you whenever I get home. I hate how they're burning stuff over here and all this stuff, the debris from the wood is flying on my car. I hate that. Oh yeah, and Kiara just came here just to let y'all know in case you were wondering what car that was back there. It's old ugly Altima. But don't tell her I said that even though she's going to watch this video. But uh, sorry Kiara. <laughs>
<laughs> but uh, there's one more thing I need to do before this video ends. I if only y'all would have saw that lighting up there. Yeah, there's the thunder. I'm gonna pull the car in the garage and do this one last thing that I have to do, which will be changing out the emblems on the grill and on the trunk. I pulled the car in the garage to do this I had just dried my car off and the rain started pouring down it started lightning bad everywhere that's why the garage door is closed right now because I didn't want to deal with that with the chances of getting struck by lightning even though they were so low but I felt like I wanted to close the garage and it's super hot in here but this is just about where I'm gonna wrap up today's video I hope you enjoyed this style of video I did do a few things differently than I usually do other than failing at doing something of course but hey it happens but uh I finally washed the car that's a plus and I finally bought my wheels like I did tell y'all remember comment down in the section below and let me know any tires that you would recommend or that you would use on your daily driver they can be all season they can be max performance summer tires they can be ultra high performance summer tires Wh whatever it is just no winter tires because I don't need I don't have a need for winter tires also the wheels will be here on my birthday this Thursday the video should be out before Thursday maybe Wednesday if I'm wrong, then get on me, but Thursday, September 12th is my birthday, so if you'd like to go on my Instagram, which is at the bottom of the screen right now, and leave me a happy birthday message, then you could do that also. But other than that, I guess this just about wraps up the video. Always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more, and I thank you all for watching.